Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Daniela. Today I am here to give you my year of empties for 2021. So I have actually my little cheat note here um, with all my empties. So I have been doing this since 2016, but then I didn't actually weigh my bag. So every month after I do my this video I put all the items in a bag it's a grocery bag um, so in 2016 I didn't actually weigh it and 2017 uh, it was almost 9 kilos 2018 it was 6.66 kilos 2019 was 7.27 kilos um, and 2020 so last year if I count like that it was 5.2 uh, zero two kilos and this year so 2021 it was nine kilos 9.9 .9 kilos almost 10 kilos of trash um so i'm gonna actually dump my whole bag on the floor right now i'm sorry about the lighting it's very dark here in sweden um so i'm gonna dump all my items on the floor and uh yeah put them in categories and then i'm gonna show you how much well what i've used up how much you know right right now it's 9.9 .9 kilos so almost 10 kilos of trash so i hope you like and see you soon so before i dump everything here is the bag um it's kind of full to the brim this time around so now i'm gonna dump everything and yeah put it in the different categories Okay, I have kind of sorted everything out here on the floor and I also have the bags where I'm going to recycle everything <coughs> So I have plastic paper metal and glass and here are all the stuff So I will go through from the back to the front So we will start with the hand soap. I have three bottles of hand soap, but I should actually have Four, but this I used, used as a shower gel instead um, these two I'm actually gonna save because I have the refill bottles for at least the coconut one but not the pineapple but I will keep them I'm gonna put them up here and this one I'm going to reach in the plastic one then we have all my perfumes <laughs> it's a lot as you can see uh, all the ones that are Juicy Couture, which is the majority, are actually going to stay, so... Oops. Sorry. That one. That one. That one. That one. Yeah, don't, don't take them by the, by the neck. Take them by the bottle. Um, yeah. That's it. So I have one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven Yossi Couture's. It's one of Bye Bye Blue. Then it's Viva the Yossi. I have three, three. Yeah. The big one that I dropped. Um, so it's uh, Viva the Yossi fl uh, um, Fleur, actually. Uh, La Fleur. So it's the big one and two small ones. Then I have this one. The that's called glaze. Then I have the normal Viva La Yusi and Viva La Yusi Rose. That's all of them. The rest I will sort because I have plastic and glass and this I don't know where to put because it's a flower. And I think I also have metal. So I will sort that and then I will continue. Perhaps I should tell you what I have also. It's this, oh, Aurica. Um, yeah, that I got from Glossy Box. Then I have two of these. Alicia Ash Ashley, the musk and the vanilla. I like the musk, the vanilla I didn't like. We have one of the Chacharel Aniani. This one 
the Lola from Marc Jacobs. I didn't use as a perfume on myself. I used it on a, as a room spray and also this one, the Chloe something, I don't know the name. It's just Chloe I think. Then I have the NUX. Uh, I don't know the name. Can't pronounce it's in French. I have this Expa Mardu Margot. I don't know. It's like this. You twist it up. It's really good invention. And then I have like this for actually for the pillow. I have a molten brown flora, I think it's called. Um and this from the squared and um, Idol from uh, Lancome and Giorgio Armani C which I really like so we're going to continue with the shampoo or well hair stuff I should say it's not only shampoo it's conditioner it's uh, oils it's uh, yeah, everything. <laughs> um, what do I have? I have a shampoo from Gliss or Schwarzkopf. I have shampoo and conditioner from Response that I got from my students. I have shampoo from Vela and the conditioner uh, that I got from Glossy Box. No, not from Glossy Box, from Busador to try out from glossy box I did get this one it's the shampoo from Urtekram um, I have this super glow hair mask which I didn't like we have my Reparación Nutritiva from Pantene which is super super old um, that I bought in Mexico a long time ago from Glossy box. Let's see. I do also have these four, I think. Uh, it's the Amica Flash Instant Shine Mask. I liked it. I have the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I like the smell, but it leaves me a white cast, so no. Brave New Hair. The Reboot Mask. It was okay. No way. Mm, the Protective Hair Mask. Mm, it's okay. Uh, what else? We have the Rituals um, Overnight Hydrating Hair Mask. Yeah, I think I could use it only once because it was a little. My um, Ergan Oil of Morocco from Natural um, Natural World. It smells good. It is good. It's better than the one I'm using right now. Um, what else? I have so like a pile of things here. We should take these. Ugh. I have one, two, three, four of the keratin from Primark. They don't do it anymore. I've been searching every time I go to Primark um, and they don't have it. So that sucks. Um, what else? I have two, but it should be more. Oh, sorry. Uh, from the yeah, the, the the one I color my hair. Um, actually, I think the girls used like three or four bottles in June. And then I have been using almost one every single month since June. So when I was in Spain, I used these ones. Um, and then I bought that one in Germany. So it's a whole lot of these missing. So yeah, I have ha I've colored my hair. Uh, June, July, August, September, October. Yeah. Because then November I didn't have time. December I didn't. I colored my hair now in January. So yeah. But there's a whole lot missing. Um, My Tangle Teaser. It's time to go. It's It was pink. It's kind of purple, grayish. So no. I have <laughs> all of my hair clips. It's either one or two of these legs that are missing, so they are gone. A whole bunch of hair ties Ugh. that I have. So yeah, uh, this from 
Lush sample. I have to save that so I can give that back to Lush. And then also from Lush I have used up the Jumping Juniper. Well, one in October 2020 and then now one in March 2021. That's gone. Then the big uh, conditioner. So this was the shampoo. And this is the conditioner in December 20 and then April 21. And then we have the Montalbano shampoo, one in May 2021. And now actually I have to say this because the number two is um, what I'm using right now. So that is saving. Uh, and the rest is bye bye. Um, let's see, how can I do this without throwing away some stuff? Uh, okay. I will continue here. Uh, toothpaste. Um, Colgate, Colgate, Pepsodent, Pepsodent, um, Pepsodent, Pepsodent, and then, or then Oral B. That's all the toothpaste pastes I've used up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them. Uh, three of them was 120. Five, and the rest were 75. I have two of these um, to yeah, clean in between my teeth. I, I think in the last video I said it's made of bamboo, but it's uh, not. It's cornstarch and with charcoal. Yeah, but my tooth my brushes are made of bamboo, so yeah, that's good. Okay, I will. Scooch over and continue. So, and we will continue with shower items. I have one for intimate wash. Um, then we have one, two of these Rituals foaming uh, shower gels. One in the Ritual of Karma, that's the blue-greenish one. And then one of Sakura, the white one. Uh, that's in the small size because I also have the big size here in the secure one. So this is 200 milliliters while the rest are, the other two are 50 milliliters. And then as I said in the beginning, this is actually a hand, uh, hand wash. It's the Ritual Sakura, so together with that one. Uh, well, those two, but I use it as a shower gel instead. Um, also in the same, I kind of like that uh, <laughs> range. I have this rice scrub, uh, also from the Ritual of Sakura. Uh, I have this multifunctional soap that I got from Glossybox. It's like this, and it's drenched drenched in a soap. So when you you're soaping or lathering yourself. Uh, in the end, expo it exposes this uh, sponge, so you can, yeah, clean yourself better. I don't know. Um, from Primark, we have this um, body scrub. Didn't like it, um, so yeah, it was on sale. So perhaps that's why. We have this palm leaf uh, relax. I'm sorry if you can hear the wind. It's really windy today. Um, it's a shower gel that I got from. Glossy box, and I have already actually bought a new one because I like it so much. I have here a combination of well, body scrub and body wash. It's with sweet chai and lavender. I got this as a Christmas gift in 2020, I think it was. Um, then from Glossy box, I also got this Utikram. Urte Kram, yeah. Um, the soothing lavender, so I showed you the other one that was uh, the shower gel. No, no, the shampoo, sorry. Shampoo, and this is the uh, shower gel. Oh, body wash, it says here. Um, so we have gotten several items from Urte Kram, which is a Danish brand. Um, then we have Lövengrip, the body scrub, which I hate. This was like applying. Um, body lotion with pieces of something in. It was super bad. I didn't like it. Then we have the Ritual Hammam. 
This is the body mud. It's it has the eucalyptus, so it, it like feels like you're um, you're tingling the whole body. <laughs> it's nice, but yeah. If you're uh, yeah, you, you can easily be scared of that. Uh, then we have from the White Company the Noir Hair and Body Wash that I got from a hotel in Frankfurt am Main. Then we have two Gillette um, erasers. I don't know if this, it's the same because I used to plop them in in package. Um, then oh. We have one more, but this is a body cream. This shouldn't be here, should it? Oh no, it should be here. Sorry, um, I took everything for body. Sorry. Uh, we have the Richo Sakura again, um, a body cream. Very little. How much is it? Ten milliliters. So so tiny. It took me a long time, like always. The other body. Uh, no, this is Shariel. Sorry. Um, the Shariel. This is Happy Holidays. I also got it together with those two, I think. And this was, what was it? Kind of. Oh, Cranberry Crush. It smelled really good. Um, what else? Well, we have it here or all in front of us. Uh, I have used this up this bubble tea winter berries bath fizzer. I went home to my uh, to our friends. And they had had a bathtub, so I had it this with me. So I was like, yeah, thank you. Don't have a bathtub, uh, nor my parents, nor me. We haven't had a bathtub since I was like seven or something like that. So, yeah. Then from Lush, we have the Walter Bunny. Uh, it was a chocolate scrub. Um, it was fun, but it's nothing like I'm going to go out and buy again. I have one, two, three... <laughs> Four and five of the soaps that I bought in in Rhodes in Greece when I was there before the pandemic started. Exactly like I came home and the pandemic had started. So we have the rose olive, we have the cinnamon olive, melon olive, uh, lavender olive, and the argan oil olive oil, oil soap. Um, that was tricky to say. Um, I think I bought like. 12 of those so here we have five so I have just started one more so that's number six and I think the year previous the previous year so in 2020 I also used up some so I think I have like two or three left but that's that's everything um now I'm gonna scooch a little bit again we have a feminine product uh, since I talked about feminine product uh, over there, um, we got was this just a sample? I don't know if it was just uh, one of these to try, so that's obviously gone. And uh, we have the always dailies, it's not actually gone. I put it in another box together with others because I was like, I had four different packages of these, and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna put everything in one, um, so it's actually not done. done. And uh, we have some um, normal, normal, normal ones. Uh, it was an 80 pack. They had changed it now to like 40 pack, but it's the same price. I was like, come on. And then the night, night ones. It's 20 in that one. Um, and we can continue. Uh, I used up this brush cleansing gel from Real Techniques. This took me like serious long time. I think I bought this when I went to Dublin. It was 2017, I think, uh, when my friend Marlin was living there. So I found it at TJ. I know I don't have the. Uh, I found it at TJ Maxx. And it took me until now to 2021. Uh, really, really good. If you can find one, buy it because the one I'm using right now from Mac, I hate it. Just pointed that out. Hate it. Um, <laughs> from Primark, as always, I have one, two, and three bags of a hundred, no, 120 uh, cotton pads. So yeah, they have uh, changed the color now on the bags. It's actually now blue, so don't be surprised when you come there. 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to scooch again and continue with the rest. I have well these four and actually one thing behind me and then I'm done. Okay, I have cleaned out a little bit now and uh, yeah, put the things in recycle, the ones that I've talked about. So the next uh, items we have here is actually face items and I didn't actually know that I had that much. Um, let's see, <laughs> we have this um, micellar water from Eucerine. But okay. We have this uh, downtown Paris micellar uh, gel. We have the Youth Lab Daily Cleanser. I really love this one. I want to buy that uh, if I can find it. We have the Glossy Box uh, Micellar Gel. Again, it's a lot of micellar gel, I think. We have uh, a face cream that I thought was a <laughs> hand cream um, first. We have two of the... Looky, looky, look again. The Rituals Ritual uh, Namaste. This is the Skin Brightening Face Exfoliate. Hate this. I don't know why I still continue to use them. Um, what else? We have the Luminaire uh, Refreshing Toner. Um, we have Nobe uh, Gentle Facial Toner. So, oh, sorry. Uh, two toners and two from the same brand. That was good. Uh, we have Veleda Purifying Gel Cleanser. We have my oh one more face cream actually from Rituals Ritual of Karma. This is the uh, Sun Protective Face Cream. Um, I think I bought it a long time ago, and as you can see here, it's this is what I used up in 2020, and this is in 2021. So yeah, we have this Avant. Uh, gentle face exfoliant really love this and this actually cost 1000 this is 1060 Swedish crowns I got this in a glossy box and then I have been hunting on the internet and I have bought five or six I have given one to my mum and one to my friend in, in UK and the rest I am still holding on to because Oh my god, this is so good, but I'm not paying 1060 Swedish crowns for it, so sorry. Um, <laughs> the Dermalogica uh, pre-cleansing balm, hated this. Like every other Dermalogica product I have used, don't like it. Uh, then we have the Pixi Glow Tonic. This was a small one, 40 milliliters. I did get the big one in um, Glossy Box Advent Calendar for 2021, so I'm excited to use that. Eey! What do we have here? A uh, Paula's Choice uh, Nourishing Cleanser. Uh, it, it was okay. Then we have, yeah, this brand. Um, it's just water. It sounds like I still have something in it, but I can't get anything out. Uh, then we have the staple in every uh, beauty blogger's, <laughs> uh, yeah, makeup bag. It's the Mac Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I didn't like this. Sorry, uh, I do have to save the bottle because I'm going to back to Mac it. Uh, we don't have back to Mac here in Sweden, but when I go to US, I uh, take all my uh, Mac items and trade them in for an eyeshadow or something like that. So I'm going to put that there. We have the real technique, well, real technique um, sponge. Yeah, I didn't even clean it, but as you can see, it started to break which sucked. Uh, we have the Lumine uh, Nordic Bloom Anti-Wrinkle and Firm Moisturizing. Love this. So good. Smells so good too. I got this actually from Bustador to try out. I have... Oh, try not to drop everything. I have this L'Occitane um, Radiant Scrub. Also so good. Liked it. Uh, K-Glow don't remember probably good Garnier skin active pure charcoal mask we have wait here now I'm gonna see I'm gonna take out all of these that are the same do I have one more no so we have the Tony Moldy um, face mask or sheet mask I have Pikachu I have Fairy and I have Isangeshi 
so this is a green tea, this was grapefruit and this was honey. Uh, we have this uh, black seaweed peel off, mm, didn't like. Uh, this for, was for my under eyes, it was okay, didn't see any huge difference and here we have two from the same brand so this is the what's the brand again upper canada soap so one is energizing and one is well that's good because it only says in french now antioxidant perhaps so this was pomegranate and this was vitamin C. I still have, I think, three of them left. So yeah. Uh, eye patches from Primark, really good. I bought... Yeah, what were we, no, was it from? No, no, this is not from Primark. This is from Essence, sorry. I bought it in Germany. Uh, I did buy two more, I think. Um, I got this when I bought the Paul of Choice. This is the Royal Vita Propolis Two Step from Dr. Serukel. Mm, don't know if did anything. It was so small a sample, so yeah. Uh, okay, go. Is it that brand? Well, some brand. It was okay. And then we have what's really in right now the ampoules. This is from Babor. Mm, it was okay. And then Doctor's Cosmetic Co. Brighting up. Eh, not like I'm going to go out and bite. Uh, then we have the Nivea Urban Skin Detox Mask. Didn't feel anything. Sorry. Then we have a Luminaire. Again, one more. I have, oh yeah, I've had to, two of the Luminaire uh, products. Uh, this is the Nordic Hydro. Yeah. Nordic Hydra uh, Overnight Cream that I got from, actually from Glossybox, nope, from Busador, sorry, to uh, try out, like this, like all the items from Luminaire, I've got them. Then we have from, this is from Glossybox, uh, Skin and Co. Roma, the face gommage and the whip cleansing cream. Mm, no. Like... <sighs> Exfoliating has to be a little bit more exfoliating, and that was not exfoliating, so no. And then we have this uh, sample from Biotherm Aqua Glow. Mm, don't remember, but I think it was good. It was like a pinkish hue on this. I can't get anything out, but I think it was a pinkish, pinkish hue and it smelled really good. Uh, Aqua Glow. I think it was good. Yep, that was it. <laughs> Okay, last items. I actually moved around a little bit here in my apartment to get some more sunlight, but yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> nail polishes. Um, these are the ones that I have decluttered, so they uh, I have to take them to the um, to the recycling station because they are considered uh, dangerous goods because yeah, nail polishes. Um, and here are the ones that I did actually use up. I only used up two. Which is strange. Uh, uh, nail color remover. So that was not much for this year. I used up uh, one hand cream, uh, one hand sanitizer, but I do have more hand sanitizers, but just that they were in big, bigger bottles. One sesh restore, one sesh top coat. The base coat is from Dior, it's the Dior Lis. Um, then we have some small ones. Um, this black uh, nail art from Models Inc. I think it was. Um, Bardot. We really like it. It still has a little bit in there, so I have to put it there actually. I think I have to do that with this too. Um, we have the Depend, a blue one. Don't know the number. We have the Essie. Um, yeah, party on a platform, I think it was. It's number 443. And then we have three of the OPI minis. Um, do I remember the names? Don't know. This is Say Hello Kitty. This is... Well, these two are from the 
outrageous knee. No, wait, it's not. This is my twin Mimi uh, from uh, Hell Kitty collection. So those go from the Hell Kitty collection, collection, and this is from the uh, outrageous neon uh, collection. So outrageous pink or something like that. Don't remember. Uh, these three I will save actually because I'm saving up all my uh, small opi bottles. I'm gonna do a project in the future, hopefully. So I'm gonna put them here next to me and we're going to continue with the medicines or yeah those kinds of stuff oh have to sit down better um so we have one bottle of magnesium uh, we have one bottle of blute saft so it's iron and vitamins and then we have a whole freaking bunch of stuff here. Oh my god. Uh, I have the multivitamins. I have the multi minerals. I have cotton buds uh, with um, bamboo and cotton. So it's not plastic. So that's good. Ugh. I have salubrine. Because I get really big... Um, well, I'm really allergic to uh, anything that stings me, so wasp, uh, mosquitoes, everything like that. So, yeah, and I see I have huh, one, two, three of my asthma inhalers. This is the Pomacourt. Pomacourt. So, since they still have a little bit in it, I have to take that to the, the pharmacy. And I also have two of my Buventol, also uh, my asthma, and they also have, so I'm going to take out the plastic casing and then the rest I'm getting to the, to the doctors, or to the pharmacy I should say. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13 <sighs> bags of uh, tissue papers so yeah be gone that was a lot um can i take out my iron tablets too that's one two three four five six seven eight nine Ugh. nine packages oh my god uh Oh no, 9, 10, 11, oh shit, no it's more, 12, okay I'm have to do this again, I'm counting again, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, can that be, I think it is, Eleven, yeah, it's eleven packages of ten uh, iron tablets in each. Oh, that was a lot. Jesus, I have some um, Hall's uh, sugar-free uh, well bonbons because uh, I had a sore throat. Uh, what else do you have here? Oh, this is uh, Strepsils honey and lemon. And I think I should have one. Oh yeah, here. Three of them. And here. Is that the whole package then? Did I cut them? Oh yeah, I did cut them into two. That's why. So I have two honey and lemon. Be gone. I have four uh, paracetamol that are like, you put it on the tongue and it uh, dissolves. Then I have, is it three? Four, five, five packages of paracetamol, 500 milligrams. Jesus Christ, I do take a lot of medicine. Uh, and then I have two uh, somatoptan, that's when I have my migraines. Can you even see that? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's gone. Where did I put that in that bowl? I think. Um, I think this was a band-aid. Yeah. Uh, 
we have some salt water spray for my nose we have Houston stuff that I had to buy sorry I uh, had to buy in Germany because I was coughing so much we have some paracetamol that you have like a tea really good don't they don't sell sell it on every uh, pharmacy so sometimes it's hard to get a hold of but it's really good and if you find it do buy it um, we have one of all the masks I used this uh, past year and then we have my last protein powder bag that I used in 2021 so yeah I'm gonna scoop again and I see you soon okay last few items it's the candles and then it's actually my makeup uh, <laughs> which not that much candles I have a lot as you can see uh, I will start with this one this is from Primark um, bought it in the summer I used it ever in the summer don't remember what the name is but yeah also from Primark we have the watermelon kiwi that came out like in 2017 or something like that I bought it with my cousin we have the uh, DV home paper white vanilla really good I have some more of them I have the Bath and Butterworks uh, pumpkin apple really nice did kind of burn down the whole thing um then no oh wait I do have three others I have three of the these janky candles this is the tangerine and vanilla uh, we have the pink honeysuckle and we have morning blossom there it is uh, I have since a long time ago oh put it like that then actually um I think I should take well I can take these first then. I have one two three four five six seven uh, like simple tea lights I have a big lighter I have some yeah matches from a place called Bitterroot in Seattle and I have three uh, incense like that then the rest here, the whole bunch, Jesus Christ, is from uh, Wen's Low Tide. So all that, uh, it's from Mary in Maryland, in the US. So I have a sea salt orchid, chocolate strawberry, lucky shamrock shake, lavender vanilla, this is honeysuckle my something I don't remember because there's no label on it uh, this is vanilla peppermint eucalyptus this has to be sea salt wait sea salt uh, orchid because it's the same I think it is I don't remember uh, rosemary mint black cherry merlot uh, Marilyn Spice, which I really hate because it smells like sh yeah, that's, don't didn't like it. Um, black cherry Merlot, so both black cherry Merlot. Uh, we have peeps. Uh, we have lime in the coconut, and this one I don't know because there is no name on it, but can be chocolate strawberry like that one um like that one this big one this i don't remember what it was and then in this i have the island breeze that i used up in december looks like that and then also matches from when slow tide so they are gone that was a whole bunch of when slow tide uh, <laughs> candles so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 plus the two small ones 17 then oh jesus christ okay that was a lot uh, but i'm gonna clean them because if i return them to mary um you get a discount and these ones i'm going to clean out to my well this is actually clean already uh, to my students that are doing 
uh, candles. So yeah, that's that. Finally, the final things uh, before this video is uh, to an end. I know it's been a really long one. Um, some items I have decluttered. It's actually these two. They smell like when I open them, so no. I have used up this pink melon lip balm from Primark. I have used up this uh, body, the body shop, what was it called? Lip, <sighs> lip juicer. Um, actually afterwards I saw it's, it contains kiwi and I'm allergic to kiwi, so yep. Um, this is also from the lips, I can't remember the name of it, and it's stuck in here. Uh, I have used, well, decluttered this Essence Lash, Lash uh, Princess, sorry, um, with the false uh, lash effect. Um, it was good, I have several, so, uh, so yeah, that's good. I have used up this e.l.f. Um, what's it called? Eyeshadow primer. So yeah. Uh, one of my eyeshadows from the H&M Shades of Fall or something like that a palette they have. Uh, then Wet n Wild Creme Brulee. Eyeliner from Lorac. There it is. Um, then this Luna by Luna Brow Gel and the MAC uh, powder that's going to be Mac back to MAC. So that was everything. I hope you have a nice day and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.